So something a little different, and uh, you know, clinically this is really a wonderful machine here. Uh, so the idea here is that 650 microsecond uh, targets and coagulates inflammation, uh, the larger vessels uh, uh, and feeding the plaques, and it's also anti-inflammatory. Uh, and this is a, a, a study that we just did that was just completed right now. Um, and it looked at uh, a randomized uh, investigator-blinded study uh, versus uh, the eczema laser. And the eczema laser is the gold standard in the U.S. from that perspective. Um, and indeed, uh, the uh, issue here uh, of the advantages that we found were faster clearance, more tolerable therapy for the patient, uh, gra uh, greater visibility of treatment, uh, uh, no treatment costs. So the, the issue in the U.S. is this is reimbursed by insurance, and it's reimbursed fairly reasonably by insurance. Uh, most people use an eczema and share the revenue with the eczema laser uh, or have a consumable, and this is not uh, none, neither of them. So you have a much higher ROA potential uh, with this. Uh, these are the overall and PASI scores. You can see they're equivalent. Uh, to the eczema laser. And a study that was done actually with another laser, the pulse dye laser, showed that actually the eczema was superior to pulse dye. So again, eczema is the cold standard, and we're seeing here uh, very, very uh, similar results. So I think the, uh, the key issue here is that uh, phototherapy uh, for psoriasis is an extremely important part uh, of treatment. Uh, there are limitations. So f if you have narrowband UVB, et cetera, it, it works well. You have to have a big box in your office. Uh, and in the U.S., it doesn't reimburse very well at all. Uh, eczema and pulse dye laser uh, certainly have shown effectiveness, less so for pulse dye, uh, for psoriasis and nail involvement. However, what we found is that uh, 650 microsecond uh, air LA system shows a very significant promise uh, from multiple advantages versus eczema, uh, which is the gold standard. And as I said, uh, insurance does reimburse. You do get paid for it, absolutely. Uh, and you can see here some of our patients here. You can see the hands. And the hands are probably the most difficult. Hands and feet are the most difficult areas uh, to treat. And you can see that here. Uh, you can see uh, another uh, treatment here for the arms. This was not in our, in our trial from there. So thank you so much. Thank you.